Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we are going to be looking at the new paint set by the Army Painter. Guys, this is going to be a sort of unboxing, although it's just a paint set, so it's not particularly exciting inside. I mean, it is exciting inside, but you know what you're getting. It's on the box. And then on top of that, it's a paint set by the Army Painter. The paints already exist. In fact, I own the vast majority of these. So it will be a review, but it's going to be a review on paints I've already used. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. Just to let you know that Army Painter sent me this free of charge. It's a sort of review copy. But bear in mind, before the Army Painter ever sent me anything, I was already using these paints. These are the paints I chose, and these are the paints I primarily use to paint miniatures that I own. So... There's a little disclaimer, bear that in mind, but the opinion's not changed over the years. They just get to send me products so I can show you it exists if you are interested in it. Now, what is super special about this paint set? Let's take off the cover. I just left it on so you guys know I haven't seen it. So you get that legit reaction once I open it. And that's that out of the way with. Um, so what's special about this paint set? It's a zombie side paint set. And this is one of the best things I think the Army Paint to do. I really like their precision aimed Skype, Skype? <laughs> they don't Skype you, sniper scope on a specific game in this instance to help you know where to start in the hobby. And if like myself, five years ago I started this hobby, I bought zombie side, I played zombie side, I loved zombie side. And I was like, whoa, some people are painting this. Where do you begin? How do you get started with one of these sets? So this is trying to offer you everything you need to paint the new Zombie Side second edition. And if, like myself, you back that on Kickstarter and you're waiting for your copy to arrive, like I am, where is my copy? Come on, call me or not. Get the freaking game here so I can start painting it. But if you are waiting for that game or you're looking at picking it up or you're now watching this video in hindsight because you've seen other people have painted their awesome looking games with some paints, this is a perfect place to place to start. It gives you all the paints you need to basically paint the entire game. And that's what I did. I bought the core set when, on the original zombie sides, which I have to mention... I, uh, uh, to this day, I am I'm still painting, guys, and uh, whizzing these last ones out. But originally, I started Black Plague with a Black Plague set and smashed. I've painted the entire game, and it was just using one of these kits. And then the hobby grew from there. So really, really love these kits that help new people know where to start. I've never seen this before in, in, in the game kits that they do. And it includes a fill free. Free. I mean, you've paid for the box. There's a cost. Survivor miniature and ID cards. So you get the sculpt and you get the cards. So you can play the guy in the game. And I personally thought that was a really, really nice touch to this box. It's a little incentive, a reason to get this because you can get all these colors independently. And like myself, I've actually got most of them, but if I didn't have this miniature, whoo, it would be tempting. However, I backed the game and I know this guy is coming with the game. So it's actually gonna be a spare one that I'll own, which if, if you're in a similar position, one you could sell on eBay and get a bit of your money back. If you don't want two copies, you might want two copies. Personally, probably going to paint this up and be giving this away. Similar, I actually bought an extra copy of the Zombies for the same reason. So hit subscribe, guys, if you want to stay tuned and see if how and in what way I might give that away once I do a tutorial. Enough about why I love these boxes. Let's have a look on the inside. But as I mentioned... You can see on the front of the box, you know what you're getting. Let's have a look at it anyway. So we've got the War Gamers Army Painting Guide. And if you're not familiar with this, they, they include this with most of their product. And I say every time, so apologies if you watch the channel uh, religiously and you've seen this. This is surprisingly good. I think a free pamphlet that you could just pick up in store and it comes with every product wouldn't be that good. But I am... And I say this every time, I'm surprised how good some of the tips, some of the tutorials, some of the suggestions they do actually are in this book. And some things I don't, just didn't know. And it's like, whoa, you, they just tell you this. So definitely give this a flick through. It's, it's surprisingly good. And especially if you're brand new to the hobby, like you might be if you're picking up this set, this is a good quick, and it doesn't take long. It's only a few minutes to read through, but it's got some good tips. So I approve of this. They've included their list of hobby products you know it's useful to know what they sell and their range is massive when i started this they didn't make half of this stuff so they've just really increased the amount of stuff you can get from the army painter so you know what you're getting you as a brand you start to get to grips with get used to know what they provide and you, you know what you're getting right once you've painted with this if you like it shows you what else you can get uh, the full range of colors that's nice they've started including this so you can see all the colors you can get because the set only has oh, through the box on the floor 
20. It's only got 20 paints, and they actually do 124. So, And I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but there's often exclusive ones which aren't included in here that you can only get in these kits, and there may well be some in this kit. But this shows you the generic range. Like, you could just pick up these anywhere in shops that sell army painter war paints, and you can grab extra portions of this. But I will tell you, five years. Five years I've been painting with my original zombie side kit, and only... Yes, only Necromancer Cloak and one of the Black Wash ran out. That's it. In five years. And I paint, I paint a lot. I've painted multiple full games. A little thank you card, letting you know who to contact if anything's missing, and they will sort it out. Yet to open anything missing, I will say that. So you're going to get one, well, Phil. You're getting Phil with all of his stats. So if you didn't back the game on Kickstarter, and I think you had to back it at a certain level, so it might not be everyone getting this anyway. If you didn't back the game, if you got it at retail and you want one extra miniature as well as starting to paint the kit, this is a perfect little thing. You're gonna get the card and whoop, it's underneath and you're gonna get the sculpt. We'll have a quick look at the sculpt. You know what it's gonna look like. If you're looking at this video, you've you've seen Zombie Side. You know what Seamon are, uh, you know what sort of products they produce and it's just going to be directly from semen and there we go so oh this is the first one i've seen and i didn't i didn't own season one of the original zombie side as you you saw when i flashed up the models these are actually rue morgue and that's where i started and then i started painting once i got black plague but rue morgue was my first and you can see the difference the sculpts are so much chunky now it's going to be a lot more easily paintable and hopefully a lot more fun to paint chunky and detailed by the look of it so i'm liking that yeah so number 13 if you don't have him this is a nice way of getting it or if you want a spare like you want to do a giveaway give one to a friend who's maybe buying it at retail so there's the miniature that we're going to get in the box i'll mention the brush it comes with a brush it's coming with basically everything you need to get going and this is the zombie side it's now not just their generic hobby brush size one just give that a lick so we can see so that's a fairly, uh, well, size one. It's about a detail brush. And guys, I'll just give you a pro tip now. If you are if you are picking up this kit because you are starting painting, this brush is going to do you fine and you'll be able to get a fair bit done. But if you're serious about it, they do another kit. In fact, I've got it near me. They've got their most wanted kit. And it's just three brushes. It's only $10, $15. It's not, it's not too expensive. And this is what I got. And for one to two years, this is all I used and it was absolutely perfect. And it lasted me all the way through Black Plague and beyond. And then I would advise this as the missing brush in here, which is the detail brush. So those four brushes, I, I painted the entire Zombie Side Black Plague with. So that would be my advice. If you're serious and you, you've got an extra 10, $15 to spend and you're getting this anyway, grab yourself that kit. Now what is inside it? They are gonna put them in a random order for you, but the red lids are, washers these are for adding shade and shadow to your miniatures so you sort of paint it and base coat it and then you add these to it afterwards to tone it down darken it up adding in the shadows it's really they're really really watery and they run into the recesses and they're just going to add shade and basically this painting the base coat is probably 50 percent of the work these take it to 90 percent of the work and these take 10 seconds to apply it's no time whatsoever and they really really take you to the next level if you're just starting painting and you think you just do a base coat take it to the next level the washers are almost no effort and they just make it look so 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 much better and then highlighting takes it that final sort of 10 percent and when, when you're a beginner painter obviously don't judge me on these comments if you're pro painters but these are three washes they've got red lids so you've got a dark tone which is a black wash it's particularly good for uh, comic book style or very dark colors brown's a good one to use dark gray metallics come out i quite like how they look with dark tone you've got flesh wash which is good for skin color so this is a yellowy brown where you can see it on it's sort of a light pale brown color very good for skin washes or light colors yellow particularly like it on on metallics gold in particular and it's, it comes out well on that and then last of all you've got strong tone which is going to be a very very dark brown it's great for zombies you want to make them look dirty that sort of thing but also just good with softer dark colors so browns may be a bit too dark but we've got something reasonably dark maybe like abomination skin maybe it, I, for me i just use it when i want it to look quite dirty so i i often did they hold zombies in strong tone nice dark brown so they all have red lids which makes it incredibly easy to to see so you basically got the biggest three tones that you're going to want to use. Then the, the black lids, I'm just going through the easy ones first, are metallics in the, the 
army painter range. So you're getting the probably the best two. I, I noticed there's no gold, unfortunately, and gold is going to be the next metallic you're going to you're going to want to pick that up in the near future once you're into the hobby. And they're giving you a dark silver and a light silver, and they are the most used metallic guns, belts blades these are without a doubt the most and then gold's probably the next one but honestly silver will get you so 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 far and it gives you a dark one a light one especially if somebody's got multiple metallic items on them you might want to paint one in one and one in another just to give some variance equally as much you might want to base coat it in a gun metal and then highlight it in the shotgun metal to give it a bit of shine on the edge so Great start. Three probably best washers they do. The best metallics I think they do. And then you get a whole range of colours. This was in my original zombie side set, Dirt Splatter. It's a very nice brown. You're getting Crusted Saw, which is their red. Now, the, well, you get, you're going to get Glistening Blood. I'll move on to that. It's a, an effect paint. But well, let's just double check in case they, it's not, but I'm pretty sure. It doesn't say that I can see. Hmm, that's interesting. This could be red, but... In, no, so... I'll, I'll just cover this quickly. This is normally an effect paint, which is a bit glossy, a bit sparkly. It looks like glistening blood. It's really nice to add blood, which you want plenty of on zombies. Zombies are incredibly forgiving. If you're brand new to painting, you're going to cover a lot of mistakes. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to paint that accurately. You can cover it with blood. If you're into blood and the more, you know, just enjoy it as much or as little as you want. But I find you mess up their eyes, so just put some blood in it. That zombie's got blood all over his face. You can't see that you've messed up his eyes. His hand's not painted very well, cover it in blood. So the blood is perfect in these zombie sets. They're going to be, it's going to make it very, very forgiving. They're already forgiving enough anyway. It's zombies, there's hordes. It's very, very easy to learn to paint with, but mistakes just cover them in blood. So as I was saying, there isn't a primary red in here. This is the red and it's a very maroon red. This, is, this actually goes really, really well. Most people's clothes are bright red so crusted saw is a very nice shade of red for clothing it's also a great shade for old wounds and looking disgusting like zombies and i often what i would tend to do with the zombie range is paint the wounds any bits of body missing in crusted saw it's quite subtle and then i'd highlight and add a little bit of splash of this to the edges and maybe dribbling down the, the monster so this is this is great i love crusted saw and i love glistening blood blood now, I do think Filthy Sue is an exclusive to the zombie side range. It probably says on here and somebody else will, will point it out at some point. But I've not seen Filthy Sue in the war paint range. I don't think you can buy it independently, which is great because this is the next paint that I was going to run out of. It's basically a light grey with a splash of brown. So it's very, very unique to this set. And you don't necessarily need it light grey would do, but it's it's cool. It's got that of brown in it which just makes it look a little bit dirtier which is perfect for zombies or roads if you're painting roads roads often are a bit dirty so where is next i think this is just a nice black i don't know if dead black's any different to matte black i believe it's the same but army painters matte black or dead black is without a doubt my favorite black i've used quite a lot of blacks and this is just the right consistency it's really really easy to use and then it's not globby like i feel like other paints are a bit globby and i paint always paint the bases of the miniatures in that black and this is dead black here and it's like really smooth and it's really easy this would probably one maybe two coats but piece of cake uh glistening blood i can show you some that's on on here and it's lost its shine because i used a matte varnish on this afterwards so that's that uh, but yeah pale white and black so this is going to let you darken down any of the colors or paint black and this is going to lighten up any of the colors or paint white so these are great to have in this kit i'm pretty sure mine never came with a white i don't think i owned a white until i bought it an independent white i'm, I'm sure the original kit didn't have it and then we've got a load of pastel -y colors so we've got survivor skin this is going to be perfect for painting all of you guessed it the survivor skin it's also quite good for highlighting brown if you need a big poppy highlight but this sort of survivor skin goes perfectly with their primer and they've got this barbarian flesh which i would use uh, you need to prime the miniatures anyway so if you are brand new to painting you're going to want to prime your miniatures before you apply paint to them and i just skip having to paint the skin color by priming them in survivor skin and then using this to touch it up or add highlights later but this is a very very nice flesh color it's the one i use on most of my humans and then what else do we we have here we've got wonder blonde finally thank thankfully this is the the color i was missing the most when i was painting painting my zombies and it's a sort of desert yellow color and also the blonde they did before was a bright yellow it 
I, j I wasn't a fan. This is a nice color blonde and you can use it for desert yellow. I mean, it might not be as relevant in the modern zombie side, but in the in the fantasy version, you certainly wanted a lot of sort of this pastel yellow color. So it's included now looking great. And then we've got rotten skin, which looks like necrotic flesh. Uh, it's a, either a pale green or it's sort of rotting flesh. You might paint your zombies in this color or you might use zombie skin. And there must be another one. You've got abomination skin as well. You've got multiple choices. I'm pretty sure... No, I think that's it. Uh, you've got three different colors here to paint your zombie skin, giving them different levels of decay. You've got barely dead, dead a while, and then nice and rotten, as well as just having another sort of gray if you want to mix some different colors in, uh, in the clothes that people are wearing. And a, what even color is that? Like a beige, if somebody's wearing beige. Let's move this out of the way so we've got a bit more space. There's so many paints in this kit. So we've got Molotov Flames. I'm not sure what this is for. It's a bit of a darker survivor skin. So you could vary people's skin tones if you so wish, or if you want a sort of orange. It's not a very vibrant orange. I really, really liked their vibrant orange in the old kit, but this time you're getting a pastel orange. So you get a different little one there. And obviously it says Molotov Flames. It may well be for painting fire or something like that. Perfect, you get a wasted jeans, which is going to be very, very useful. Probably as useful as the desert yellow would have been in the fantasy set. Wasted jeans is going to come up a lot. I'm sure there's going to be tons of survivors wearing jeans. So that's going to fill the A, it's blue, and B, it's giving you a clue. Paint their jeans in blue. You'll they, oh, So many of them are going to be named aptly. You've got depot green. It's basically going to be sort of military green, isn't it? So anybody wearing sort of army clothes, anything like that, that's going to go really well with. And then finally, I bet this is moldy clothes. It is moldy clothes. I recognized it from the back, which is just a, it's a bright green, isn't it? So you're going to want a nice primary green from time to time. So I'm impressed with this range. I don't see... I don't see Necromancer's cloak. And I know it doesn't quite fit the theme because this is modern and we are, you know, Necromancer's cloak sounds a lot like uh, fancy, fantasy, oh, I can't even speak fantasy version. Uh, it's just a very nice dark grey. But having said that, you know, black plus a little bit of white is going to make you a dark grey. So you've got a, most of most of the stuff. You know, you've got a bunch of primary colours here, including the glistening blood. Even if this is, I'm pretty sure it's the normal. It just I can't see where it says effect, so it doesn't warn us that it might be glossy but it won't matter if you're matte varnishing afterwards or if you're mixing it together it very quickly loses its shine so you've sort of got the, the primary colors and then you can go from there and mix quite a lot of colors especially lightening and darkening them down with the white and black so yeah guys i'm a massive massive fan of the original zombie side kit it's how i got started painting miniatures and i don't regret it for a second i may have faster techniques and stuff now but if you are brand new to painting this is a great place to start i would highly recommend picking something like this up to start a game and, and expect to expand expect to buy a lot more stuff if you get into the hobby and enjoy it but also expect to be completely able to finish the it, well the as much as you want. I could have done way more than just Black Plague with the original set that I got. I just, I enjoy the hobby, so I bought more and more and just enjoyed growing my collection, but it's more than enough to get started. Guys, any questions below, just let me know. If you would like to see a painting tutorial on Phil, seeing as I've got him here and I want to try out these paints, although I said I've already tried most of them. I, I think I own almost every single one. There's maybe like the Molotov Flames, I don't, and this is so close to other colors it's untrue but if you'd like to see this painted let me know in the comments below hit like that will encourage me to do that as well and like i said this isn't a bonus one so hit subscribe if you're interested in seeing more and seeing that maybe i'll paint that up and give him away who knows what i'll do i could i'm wild to do what i want it's up to me i'm my own man thank you ever so much for watching and i will see you again soon